Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to quickly create a portrait poster design of a person's face inside the letters of his or her name. Open a focused, high-resolution photo of someone that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. We'll be placing the photo into our text design later. Create a new document by going to File and New. Make the width and height 1200 pixels each and the resolution 150 pixels per inch. The color mode is RGB and 8 bits per channel. The background is black. Then click Create or Open. Open the Horizontal Type tool and pick a thick, heavy font. I'm picking Franklin Gothic Heavy. If you'd like to use this font as well, I provided its link in my video's description below or in my project files. I'll make its size 300 points, however, feel free to adjust the amount based on the font you pick and the amount of characters in your text. I'll make its aliasing sharp, left alignment, and white for its color so we can see the text easily. Click on your document and type the first letter of the person's name. Make a copy of it by dragging the layer to the new layer icon. Double click the large T of the copy to highlight the text and type the second character of the name. As before, drag it to the new layer icon to make a copy of it and double click this copy to highlight it. Type in the third character of the name. Continue these steps until all the letters in the name are typed. Open your Move tool and drag the character down to the lower right. If you check Auto Select, you can make the letters active simply by clicking them. Then drag each letter so it overlaps its neighboring letter. Arrange them so they are relatively packed closely but still legible to ultimately form the name of the person. Don't be concerned right now about centering the entire name, we'll take care of that in a moment. Once you arrange the letters, make sure you uncheck Auto Select. We'll combine all of the letters into one smart object so we can affect them as one shape as well as replace them with other letters if we want to form another name without having to redo any of the effects. To do this, scroll down the Layers panel and shift-click the bottom character to highlight all of the letters in the name. Click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. To center it, drag the name. If you want to resize the name, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, Press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift if you're using a version earlier than CC 2019. However, if you are using CC 2019 or later, just press Alt or Option, then drag it out or in. To accept it, press Enter or Return. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Hide the copy and make the original active. Open your photo. Drag it onto the tab of your name design. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. We'll resize the photo in a moment. To insert the photo into your text, we need to make the photo into a clipping mask. To do this, press alt Control g on Windows or option Command g on a Mac. You can also go to Layer and Create Clipping Mask. If you want to reposition the face, just drag it. If you want to adjust its size, open your Transform tool. If you can't see the entire bounding box, press Ctrl or Command-0. Then, adjust the size of the face. Double-click an empty area of the bottom name layer to open its layer style window. Click Inner Shadow. The color is black, the Blend Mode is Multiply, and the Opacity is 35%. Check Use Global Light. The Angle is 137 degrees. 
The distance and the size are both 25 pixels. Make the top name visible and active. Reduce the fill to 0%. This makes the layer invisible, however, any effects that we add to it will retain its visibility. On the other hand, if we reduce the opacity to 0%, the layer and all its effects will be invisible. Double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Stroke. The color is white. The size is 3 pixels. The position is outside. And the opacity is 100%. Click Outer Glow. And the color box. Click a color of your subject to pick up that color for the border surrounding the name. You can always change the color later if you want. The spread is 100% and the size is 10 pixels. Lastly, we'll add a thin outline surrounding our design. Scroll down to the black background and click the lock icon to unlock it. Double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Stroke. Click the color box and pick black. Make the size 25 pixels and the position inside. Click Inner Glow and the color box. Pick a color for the outline border. For my design, I'll click the text border to pick up its color. Make sure edge is ticked. The choke is 100%. And the size is 27 pixels, which is 2 pixels more than the size of the stroke. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.